Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my another video. Here we would like to solve an integration problem consists of two different parts. They cannot be factored together, they have different integration bounds. So as for now, we have to handle them separately. And then hopefully along the way, something in common come into the picture. We label them as J and K respectively. Focus on J. Let's define U equals to tangent X. Therefore, we have du equals to secant power 2x dx or dx is equals to cosine power 2x multiplied du. Since u equals to tangent x, if we draw a triangle, we can see that cosine x is equals to 1 over square root of 1 plus u square, which means dx is equals to du divided by 1 plus u square. Meanwhile, the upper integration bound is equal to 1, while the lower integration bound is equal to 0. Now we have new j equals to integral 0 to 1, inverse sine of u divided by 1 plus u square du. As for now, we put j aside and now focus on the second part which is k. For k, we define t equals to cosine x. Therefore, dt is equals to negative sine x dx or dx is equals to negative dt divided by sine x. If we draw a triangle, refer to t equals to cosine x. From there, we can see that sine x is equals to square root of 1 minus t square. So therefore, dx is equals to negative dt divided by square root of 1 minus t square. As for integration bound in t domain, the upper integration bound is 0 while the lower integration bound is 1. We can cancel the negative in front of dt by swapping the integration bound. So we have k equals to integral 0 to 1, inverse tangent of t divided by square root of 1 minus t square and then dt. t is dummy variable in calculus. We can change it to u so that it is same as equation j. We are going to do integration by parts for equation k using implementation of di tables. First row is positive. We choose inverse tangent u for derivative and then 1 over square root of 1 minus u square for integral. Second row is negative. The result of derivative is 1 over 1 plus u square while the result of integral is inverse sine of u. We have k equals to inverse tangent u multiplies inverse sine u for u equals to 0 and 1. And then plus a second row which is negative integral 0 to 1 inverse sine u divided by 1 plus u square du. There is a good news. The second part of k is actually the negative of the equation j. So k can be simplified become inverse tangent of 1 multiplied inverse tangent of sines and then minus j. Back to the original question q is defined as j plus k which means it is j plus pi divided by 4 multiplied pi divided by 2 and then minus j. That brings us to the conclusion of this video. The final answer of this question is equals to pi square divided by 8. Thank you for watching my video. Please continue support my channel. Subscribe, give a like and share with others. I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.